Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and these are the NZXT FZ series airflow fans and the box you're looking at in particular is the LED variant and of the NZXT FZ series and uh, the LED options, uh, color options actually come in five uh, choices. You have orange, you can see here, you get white, you get blue, you get green and red. So. Uh, these are meant to be uh, placed in between the FN version and the FX, uh, rather the FN series and the FX series that uh, NZXT has previously released. The FN version, of course, being the entry level and the FX series being the enthusiast level. And as you can see there, this, this 140 millimeter uh, version actually has a very good, uh, I would say, above average CFM to DBA ratio. You have 83.6 CFM to 24.5 DBA. Uh, which is, uh, I believe, higher than the uh, FN version. While actually, surprisingly, the 120 millimeter uh, version here, you can see that the 9.1 CFM to 26.8 dBA, which uh, is about um, 2 dBA higher than the uh, regular FN fan. While the it's about uh, about 12 CFM higher than the standard FN fan. Uh, so, because these are meant to be. Uh, course for customers up for users who want to customize their cases so you might mix and mix and match in their uh, their phantom case for example there's plenty of color variants for phantom you get the green and the white and black version you also have the new gunmetal version so depending on that you can have uh, five different LED LED colors to choose from or just the standard NZXT uh, fan and uh, let's open up this package so you can see what the uh, contents are inside one of the NZXT FZ fans. You can see that both sides have a tape sealed, and the uh, it's pretty much standard, standard uh, packaging. Compared, it looks similar to the other uh, FN and FX series fans from NZXT. And inside, you can find, of course, other than the fan itself, you get uh, mounting screws. You get four of them, and they're also black, similar to the frame, so they don't uh, stand out blends well with your color theme and you also have these uh, three pin uh, to Molex adapter see and they're but uh, there's also a female and a male end so uh, you can chain these together depending on your setup if you if you have a limited connection so take my uh, tape measure and measure how long this is so you have a frame of reference uh, this is actually about a foot long so that is very long and uh, even more surprisingly this cable right here, the 3 pin fan for the 140 millimeter. And actually this is uh, measured the 100 millimeter as well and they're both, yeah it looks like they're both uh, 20 inches long. So that is very long, that might, uh, it might be a deal breaker for some but I would say uh, better uh, to have a longer cable rather than have it miss, have it uh, shorter and need need uh, an extension later so you can actually use these in your full tower cases and um, let's take a closer look at the propeller design although I'm going to grab the standard version because it's easier to see see the difference is that the LED uh, color uh, variant has this these transparent um, transparent blades so that the uh, fan color kind of disperses and inside in there is where you'll find the LED see there tucked in in each of the four corners it basically blasts light into the uh, the fans and while it spins it disperses the light all over this area so it's pretty uh, like I mentioned the fan blade design slightly different than the FN series this is about 13 blades here and the design is more straightforward with just slightly tapering near towards the middle and I uh, can see that it it just curves slightly but uh, it's also uh, a lot thicker than you would expect from a fan. Usually, the standard uh, housing frame for 140 millimeter, and as I mentioned, the cables are all pre-sleeved, so they look very attractive. And uh, they measure 140 by 140 and uh, 25 millimeter, which is standard as well. And same with the 120 millimeter size as well, so 120 by 120 by 25. 